Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Meeting, um, if I, if I turn it anymore, I'm going to spill it on my computer. I'm eating, um, fried ice cream. It's like, extremely hard to explain, but it's not actually, it's a flavor. I think Breyers makes it. It's really good. It's like cinnamon ice cream. It's got caramel and little like chippy thin chip like um I don't know. Damn it. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I like how my hawk's kind of like it's kind of like a wave. It's crooked. Um, I thought I'd update because I can because I can talk now. Um, let's see. Let me catch you up. Let me catch you up on what's going on. Um, today, it's actually Sunday. It's 12.45 a.m., so happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Um, I don't really participate in Father's Day because my father's more like a sperm donor than a father. So, um, yeah. That's just how it is. Um, so let me catch you up on what's going on. Let me pull up my calendar so I can read things and remember. Okay, so Thursday I went to the dentist. And we were under the impression that I needed five cavities filled. And it turns out that he, want, he only wanted to do half my mouth at a time. So we thought it was going to be two appointments. Which was really upsetting to me because when I had my implants put in for my teeth. They told me they were going to sedate me. When I got in the room, we paid extra for this. I had it done at a very prestigious dental school in North Carolina. That's all I'm saying. And we thought they were going to actually sedate me for this procedure. Two of them I had. The first one being a bone graft that grafted bone from my chin to my upper jaw to create more bone mass so they could put the implants in. And the second one actually being the one where they put implants in. They screw in these metal, big, big metal screws into your head and then yeah anyway I've had a lot of shit done in my mouth with not a lot of pain control or Novocaine lidocaine going on and it's really stressful for me I'm I was not somebody who feared the dentist until I had this happen but I walked into the room to do the surgery the first bone graft surgery they hand me two Vicodin that was my sedation and then they numbed my mouth up and did it while I watched it on a giant L, giant TV, what they were doing, because they were filming it. I got to the point where I, they were, I was feeling it, and I was hoping that they were done, and I decided it was better to just let them drill into my bone than to ask them to shoot me up with more of the, the needle stuff. It was just It was just too painful either way. So I've been through the gamut with dental surgery. The two that he was talking about of the five cavities were the two wisdom teeth that need to come out, which the oral surgeon decided to take them all out at once. So instead of having to do two, two separate procedures, it was just one. So we did the three that were on the left side. Does that make sense? Okay. So I only had three cavities that needed to be dealt with because I'm having two of the teeth removed that had cavities in them. So that was good news on Thursday. Um... It was not painful, the actual procedure, but um, I was in a lot of pain afterwards, and I was, I, I took morphine ahead of time, and um, I've been on it nonstop ever since, so. My jaw is sore. It was really puffy and swollen. I got a picture of it, but, um, but, um, it's better. It's better, but it's definitely still, there's still some swelling. The dogs are really feisty right now. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Bella is climbing me. She's actually probably looking for my ice cream, which I didn't get to finish because Keely started the crazy. This is going to be much longer than I anticipated. I'm very sorry for that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, and it's healing okay, and I'm not having as much problem eating today. Um, but should not have taken that long, but of course, since it's me and I'm a sick, sick person, it takes, you know, probably another two or three days to heal. Second medical issue that is going on right now. 
we order my fentanyl, which is these patches, um, and we order them from a 90-day medical supplier, and I have to have a certain brand based on just past experience. It, it, work, it works a lot better than um, the brand I used to be on, and so you have to, when you write the prescription, my doctor has to write specific brand medically necessary. Now we've had to return these ship these these prescriptions are shipped to me, so we get them and we open them. And we realize, oh crap, it's the wrong stuff. You have to get the doctor's office to mail you the prescription, and then you have to mail the prescription off to the 90-day place, and then they ship it. We've had this problem before. They ship the wrong medicine because their prescription wasn't written right. Well, because of this, I'm literally getting my my prescription, my 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 the mailed box of prescriptions mailed to me and I have literally one patch left so it's the end of the line like we almost got it too late um, and we open the bag and it is the wrong wrong patch and this patch does not have as good pain control the distribution is not even an adhesive when it sticks to my skin it gives me a rash and if I try to bathe or get in the hot tub or shower water gets under the patch and it basically stops it from working And when you wear these things for three days and it's supposed to be constant pain control the constant pain control goes away so we realized on Friday night that we had the wrong stuff and we literally needed the next day to put on a new patch so now I'm wearing these patches that I haven't worn, I haven't used them in probably a year, and I'm definitely feeling much, much worse because of it. So that's really frustrating, and even though a new prescription has been mailed, we still have to mail it off to the pharmacy, and then they have to ship me the new patches. So it's likely that I'm going to be feeling kind of shitty. <laughs> for the next week because my body is dealing with something that it doesn't usually deal with. Um, yeah. And it just so happens that Monday night Jackie is leaving for the beach and not coming home till Thursday. And um, so I'm going to have to get a patch put on while she's gone. Uh, next Saturday we have a spin clinic for our our uh, independent kids and I am stopping my blood thinner and my surgery is next Tuesday at 1.30. So we're kind of getting there quick and uh, I guess I'm going to hang out at my mom's while Jackie's out of town. So we'll see. Um, so that's what's going on. Crazy as always. You know, nothing ever goes exactly as planned. Um, yeah. So that's it. I'm going to try to cut this short and maybe edit some stuff out. Who knows? We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Have a happy Father's Day. Yeah. Alright. Bye.